Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill. I'm a beginner, and if it's the first time dropping it to the channel, welcome. Uh, again, this channel is currently uh, designed uh, for beginners like myself uh, that are new to astronomical imaging. So I produce these videos um, to get feedback from more experienced uh, imagers who may drop in on the channel uh, to help me understand maybe there's a better way, a more efficient workflow or whatever to get something done. And uh, through that process, if they take the time to comment, uh, then others who may be beginners, if you're reading those comments, you're also gaining that knowledge share that I'm gaining. So uh, in this video here, uh, I'm going to show you how to keep my HEQ5 Pro mount, uh, which my telescope is mounted upon, in sync with the software package that I use to control the mount, the filter wheel, the autofocuser, the camera, uh, and my flat panel. I use nighttime imaging and astronomy package, uh, referred to as NINA. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and load my profile. And so the scenario that I'm sharing here is a real one for me. Uh, I image from two different locations. Uh, one is called home, uh, where I am at right now, which is San Mateo, California, which is in Northern California. It has its longitude and latitude. And then the other site I referred to as GMARS, which is short for Goat Mountain Astronomical Research Station. And that's located in Landers, California, which is in Southern California. And it's important for my HEQ5 Pro mount to understand where it is located as far as longitude and latitude and that Nina also be in agreement that that's where I am imaging from. So I'm going to show you my method of doing it. Maybe there's a better way to do it. And here's where more experienced viewers can uh, share their tips and tricks. So um, let's see what we got here. I'm connecting uh, what's... Ref oh. That's the camera. I always do that. Let me go to the telescope facility. I'll cover the camera at another time. Uh, so let's go to the telescope, what uh, Nina refers to as telescope, which is actually my mount with the telescope mounted on it. And let me connect. And uh, what you see here briefly is these are the latitude and longitude for GMARS, which is in Southern California, Landers, California. Uh, but my mount is now up in San Mateo, which is a different longitude and latitude. So I need to let Nina know, and I let I need to let my mount know where it is located. So um, I go into the HEQ mod dashboard, and there's a facility here where you could set up uh, latitude and longitude for multiple locations. So right now I have the GMARS, which I was at... Uh, two days ago uh, and then I want to use the one at home so I select that one and I do set so now I have the right uh, coordinates here but uh, Nina doesn't have those coordinates so I am not sure how to push from here into Nina other than uh, doing it this way so again if your more experience is a better way please share uh, so I'm gonna disconnect yes all right, and now I'm going to reconnect. Now, you'll see here that Nina is reflecting these coordinates, which are the home coordinates, but it's giving me this message that the telescope's latitude and longitude differs from Nina's values, uh, and it's showing what the telescope is set at and what Nina is set at. And so what I really want to do is I want to push from the telescope to Nina. So I'm going to go from the telescope to Nina. I get the success indicator, which we always like to see green and success. And we now see that my site latitude and my site longitude in Nina uh, is in sync with the latitude and the longitude that my HEQ5 Pro mount has. So again, you have the ability with Nina and I'm sure other software packages as well uh, to uh, 
sync your mount uh, with the software package and that is how I do it. Okay, I just wanted to uh, give you a short demonstration here. Um, again, in response to uh, Andrew from Ottawa, Canada, I will be producing a video of the HP Spectre uh, 360 laptop that I use and what software I'm currently running on it uh, to conduct a night of imaging that should come out uh, in uh, in the next day or so. And then uh, I will be uh, also stepping through different facilities within Nina uh, and share with you uh, some information on how I'm using those different uh, uh, facilities and the settings that I'm using. And again, um, this is what is working for me, but I am sure that there are probably better ways to do it. So again, I, I, I uh, you know, I keep the kimono open and I let you see what I'm doing and uh, right or wrong, uh, if you're more experienced, you could really help me out by uh, sharing your knowledge. And if there's other beginners that are also watching the channel, uh, they learn from, uh, from the comments that you leave um, if, the, if they read them. Okay. Other than that, I think that's about all I wanted to share in this uh, video, how to handle imaging from multiple locations. I will uh, soon be imaging from a third uh, location in Bor Borrego Springs, uh, California. Uh, I'm going to be attending what they call Nightfall. It's a four, three or four day uh, workshop that the Riverside Astronomical Society hosts and uh, it'll be around the new moon in uh, November so I'll be down there and I expect I'll do some uh, imaging from there clear skies permitting so if you like this kind of content please give it a thumbs up as always like share and subscribe uh, really uh, appreciate you dropping in to view the videos and taking time to leave comments and I want to thank all the subscribers for uh, subscribing uh, other than that Till next time.